Hello everyone, Annie Geeklam back again here, and so today we are going to be starting a new series today. Um, if you watched my videos before, you will know that I've done um, sort of almost theatre-like videos, in which I like dance, or as I like to call it, musical choreography, or dance choreography to certain videos. Sorry for the food there, I just had lunch, so sorry if you that bothers you. Um, so today um, we are going to be doing a new one, except this one is probably going to be the longest one I ever did. The entire video, which we're going to do is uh, 30 minutes, uh, well 35 minutes and 56 seconds to be exact, and that is the Phoenix Wright the Musical by Random Encounters. Now I've never said this before, but I love Random Encounters. I love almost every single one of our videos ever made. And so Phoenix Wright is one of my personal favorites. Now I personally like, I love M Miles Edgeworth, but I am going to start today by doing Phoenix Wright. And actually since this is 35 minutes and I don't want to make a couple hour long video, um, I am going to do 35 minutes just for Phoenix Wright. So here in this video I'm specifically going to do only Phoenix Wright. And so that's what I'm going to do today. And the next video that I'm going to put out will, prob will probably be Miles Edgeworth, just so you know. So, let's start. So, the way I'm going to do it, um, sorry if I go here every now and then, here I've got a uh, screen where uh, it's my secondary screen that I use to make sure that everything is working pro uh, perfectly. Um, the way it's going to be is that the camera is going to be here in front, so whenever Phoenix like turns towards the camera, I'm going to turn towards you, but overall, the way I'm going to try to do it, wait, so this way, okay, so that way, and then it's this way, okay, so the way that I'm going to do it is that I'm going to imagine that the judge is here, Edgeworth is over there, the witness is then going to be in between them over there, and then if anybody, like, comes over, like, at the end, um, then I'm going to be facing towards there, not to the camera itself, but just slightly in front of the camera. So that's how it's going to work. So, let's begin. Oh wait, sorry. Order! I will have order in this court! Not until Mr. Payne concedes that his witness's testimony is laden with holes! That's impossible! It's there must be a mistake! The only mistake here, Winston, is arresting an innocent professor and this 12-year-old boy. No, no, no! <laughs> Hello? Nick? Nick, please, I need your help. Maya? Maya, what's wrong? Nick, it's Larry. He's been murdered. What? What happened? I... I may have killed him. Scene change to a prison. Shady evidence for the whole world to see. Well, where do we start? I think I'll speak with some of the witnesses. Hey, Hospital. Funny place to dispatch an ambulance, huh? Save it, Gumshoe. I need info. What do you know of Larry's murder? Seems like it fell off the roof, pal. Got any trace of foul play? I don't ask questions. I just sweep. What did you find inside of? Body. Here's my autopsy report. Have you a bead on any of Because I need it today. Actually, a piece of 
of evidence was stolen. Stolen? Yeah. Our blue badge of security camera. Up on the roof, we had it stationed. And this badger was a witness? Filming the world through cold, dead eyes. So the murderer removed it. Uh, translation? Beats me, pal. You keep saying that. I think of you up on the roof, gonna do a few lies. Get off my roof, you spike-haired nimrod. Hey, Miss Olbeck, you work here? Find someone else to go impugn. Look, my friend's on trial for murder. Take it from me, that girl is a killer. Have you even met her? The push and the fall, I saw it all in the light of the moon. I have to go. Maya's innocent, you'll see. Stay off my roof, whippersnapper! This is the worst autopsy report I've ever seen. Lots of fractures, no heartbeat, time of death. Picture of an eyeball! That's not an eyeball. Phoenix Wright. Murders have a way of bringing us together, don't they? Edgeworth, please tell me that you're not prosecuting this case. I am. But why? You know Maya's innocent. What I know is that it will be difficult to prove without an amenable prosecutor. Better the devil you know. Scene change to the court. The trial of Maya Faye will now come to order. Is the prosecution ready? We're ready, Your Honor. Is the defense ready? Ready, Your Honor. The prosecution calls Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand. Calls came in approaching midnight. Calls at midnight. Someone died due to a fall. What kind of fall? Tell about the fall, please. Claims were made that Miss Faye shoved him. Miss Faye shoved him? Here she's seen right afterwards in the hall. Excellent photo. There's something surely very wrong. Oh, touch it! Where's the face here to ID? Looks like she's facing the wrong way. Hold it! That's her outfit, you can see. It is! That's totally her outfit! Objection! <laughs> those are clothes, who knows who's wearing those robes underneath? Where's the proof that she was up on the roof? Oh, here's the shot where she leaves. What? Hey, that's me! Every killer knows her victim. By and large, that's true. Maya Faye knew Larry Butts. She knew the Butts. Something smells like Butts here. Not sure why Miss Maya picked him. Picked the victim? But we fear it's clear that she went nuts. Pretty unlikely, because I can't bet the story. Objection! An arrest was Maya say. Now that I think about it, hold it. That's an easy thing to fake. Actually, it's way harder than it looks. Objection! There's no motive here, objection to that idea too. I'll object to each ridiculous point proposed by any of you. Mr. Wright, please do desist. Disrupting court, we get the gist. No need to constantly insist. Objection. Of course, I know, but... No take that's and no retort. No second chance, no last resort. I'll hold you in contempt of court. Correction. My witness has more to add. Detective, update your testimony. When the night guards found the body... Poor old Larry. Led by old bag and her Such a shady, surly lady. It was brought to Dr. Hardy. Dr. Hardy. Maya was arrested near the scene. That's not what happened. I'm really, really sorry, but objection! Where's the proof that Larry found? The messy chalk outline, pal. Take that! There's his ID badge as well. Hold it! How'd she know the victim went up outside on the roof? Objection if you claim that your defendant's being framed. And if you argue she's to blame, then all the same I ask you Where's the proof? Objection! Did I do something wrong? I object to wasting my time going in circles like this. Verdicts are acquired in three days, and this sing-songy yammering has already cost us one of them. Yammering? I thought it was rather catchy. You'd best both examine some evidence and try a bit harder going forward. I expect a far better performance from you tomorrow. Oh, you'll get a performance. Court adjourned. That's the end of one third of, of it. So, okay. Recording still on. Good. Um, a couple of things to say very quickly. 
you may notice that the gestures that I do are not the same as the gestures you see on the recording that I'm doing of the video itself, of the supercut. Um, that is normal. Um, it's because I like to put in my own twist to them, if you haven't noticed that already. And secondly, I know it is a bit unrealistic, the fact that I have to turn my head completely over to see the judge. I know. I am working in like a bit of a cramped room and uh, my room isn't very well done right now. We, it is a bit messy right now. Uh, and so because of that, that's why I'm a bit scared of like getting out of my chair. So like, I can't. I could very easily. But um, I just like to sit as well. <laughs> so I just have to deal with that, with my laziness. And so yeah, um, apart from that, uh, let's continue. Um, so now we are starting off in day two with Phoenix and Maya, Maya Faye, who are up on the hospital roof looking for evidence. Let's go. It was nice of the judge to let me tag along with you. He gets kind of weird and nasty waiting for conclusive evidence. Yeah, speaking of, what exactly are we looking for? Anything that proves you didn't murder Larry Butts. Right. Some clothing, some blood, any loose thread that we can pull on. And if we pull on it hard enough, Gumshoe's whole story will start to unravel. Okay. Clothing. Blood. A drop of blood could blow this wide open. A bit of cloth could wind up the key. A pair of prints could change the whole trial. A single thread is the thing we need. Hey, Nick, I found a pajama. A couple cracks could make a big difference. A minor flaw could solve the whole case. A, a single, single thread, thread could be our undoing. I'll take that. Hey! That's our evidence. It's found on my roof. Give it back, old man. This will make a great gift for my edgy boo. Ew. Nothing slips past old Wendy old bag. No one escapes my baggy eye. That's right, you gotta be quick to beat the old bag. Now get off of my roof and say goodbye. She's literally the worst person. I need to take a fast. Scene change to the court. Session for the murder trial of Maya Fay. I trust we will not have an encore of yesterday's squabbling. The prosecution calls the hospital's chief security guard, Miss Wendy Oldbag. Thank you, Edgy Pooh. You look scrumptious today. <laughs> Objection! The witness is being super gross. Sustained. Miss Oldbag. Call me Wendy. Miss Old Bag, were you working the night that Larry Butts was murdered? I was. And did you go to the roof between 11 p.m. and midnight? I did. And can you describe the things you witnessed there? I can! Now would be a good time to describe the things you witnessed there. Well, there were two people up there. One in a hospital volunteer uniform, and one in a long purple robe. And what were they doing? The purple one was in the midst of some sort of satanic ritual! <gasps> um, it's actually called spirit channeling. It's usually pretty harmless, you know, except for one or two cases of murder. Miss Oldbag, are you saying the culprit had channeled a spirit? No. But they were trying to! Uh, actually, for the record, spirit channeling comes really easily to me. Like, I don't even really have to try. Like, I could channel any of you right now. I mean, if you were dead, I could. <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> I wish I was dead. So what did you do next, Miss Oldman? I did the first thing I could think of. A sleazy jazz number. I told them to get off my roof! Are we getting to the part of the testimony where a murder occurs? I was getting to that! As I shouted, the witch charged forward and knocked the victim over the edge and off the roof! Were you able to apprehend the culprit? Honey, my hips ain't what they used to be. I thought nothing gets past old Wendy old bag. So the killer escaped? Not entirely. 
I managed to tear off part of the murderer's costume. The culture's not a costume. Please show us this piece of evidence. Voila! What? Objection! We found that Magatama first, Your Honor. On my roof where I left it. seems the defendant and the killer were matching jewelry. Do you suppose they order from the same catalog? This is ludicrous! If that was Maya's Magatama, it wouldn't still be around her neck right now. Not so fast, Mr. Wright. The defendant has taken great pains to remind us that she is a spirit channeler. It's likely she owns a spare. That's true. And we only saw her from behind upon her return in yesterday's security footage. Meaning it could have been missing. Witness! Hold that Magatama by one finger. Don't tell me what to do, Whippersnapper. It's upside down. Exactly. That Magatama is a fake. Why would the killer create a fake Maga... Ma... Ma... One of those! Probably to frame Maya Faye for murder. And the person who presented that Magatama in court as evidence is none other than... Wendy Oldbag! What?! As head of security, Miss Oldbag had access to the entire building at any time. Including surveillance footage of the victim's movement and other security guards' location. She would also know that the blue badge on the roof was secretly a security camera, which is maybe why I went missing in the first place. You impudent buffoon! Why would I murder a volunteer at my own hospital? Maybe to keep him off your roof. As always, right. But I have one more question for Miss Oldbag. And what's that? When you called the police, ma'am, whose phone did you use? Mine. You own a cell phone? No. The hospital issued one to me for emergencies. Hmm. I thought as much. What are you getting at, Mr. Edgeworth? Every hospital issued phone is equipped with tracking technology logs and reports wherever it goes from the moment it is turned on. It does what? That's not good. Using a list of coordinates retrieved from the witness's phone, I've created a virtual map, retracing every path the phone took the night of the murder. Definitely not good. Let's see this map. This dot is Miss Oldback. She arrived as usual for her shift and spent most of the evening in her security office. Until we reach 11 o'clock. Where's she going? Let's watch. She's going to the rift, as she testified. But what happens next is key to her testimony. pursues the killer, just as she claimed. Objection! She, uh, could have removed the phone before the attack. You don't go down quietly, do you? There's an old saying that the phoenix will rise up from the flame. But this ain't no drama off Broadway or courtroom video game. Now you've run out of chances and this trial's taken too long. So let's end this. All the evidence was here all along because right is wrong. Well, Mr. Wright. The witness could have shot the victim? I don't think so. All of your logic is faulty. Your plans are all a disgrace. All of your traps are outdated. Your tricks blow up in your face. Sad to break the illusion, but it's true. I knew all along. You can't fool me. Is it cruel of me to say it in song? Because right is wrong. He's just jealous of your hair. Forgive my lack of tact, but right knows little more than Jack, because he's a wacky crackpot quack. Exactly that, a backward hack. In fact, in spite of what's been said, in light of right's right empty head, Mr. Right is wrong. Take it easy on me, Miles. You sign me a lot. Now that you feel yourself sinking and watch things go up in smoke Finally you see you're in trouble but all your gimmicks are broke Bluffs are just a distraction and your case is clearly not strong 
So let's end this and send right, right back to where he belongs. Because right is wrong. Right is wrong. Right is wrong. Wow, that was actually pretty catchy. Well, Bag's telling the truth. I can't find any reasonable way that she could have committed this crime. Well, Mr. Wright. Do you have anything else moronic to say? <coughs> if Maya didn't kill Larry, and neither did Wendy Oldbag, then the victim's not actually dead! What?! <laughs> trial into a sideshow. Your Honor, with all due respect, Mr. Wright, you may not be wrong. What? The autopsy report was indeed poorly worded. Ordering a detailed follow-up would at least be a reasonable formality. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Has this whole courthouse gone mad? Please, Your Honor. One more day, and an expanded autopsy. Nothing more. Court adjourned. Not you two. You stay another minute. You must think me a fool to not catch on to what you're doing. But if there's one thing I won't tolerate, it's the perversion of justice in my court. And it's clear you two have been colluding since the start of this trial. No, <laughs> Your Honor, it's not... Which is why, Mr. Wright, your friend will not be joining us for tomorrow's trial. You're removing me from the case. And replacing you with a prosecutor truly fervent for a verdict. Your Honor, you're not going to find anyone half as passionate as my... Ouch! Oh, no. Did you miss me? Foolish fools. And that's the end of day two. So, now I'm going to skip a good part of day three. Mainly for the fact that... For most of day three, um, Phoenix is not there until quite the end. So I'm going to pass my uh, three song. Uh, well, no, actually, I'm scratch. I got that wrong. The beginning has got Phoenix when he's at the bar, um, and then afterwards, when we go back to the trial, that's when he goes away and he comes back only at the end. So. I'm just going to do that part where he's at the bar, then I'm going to edit it, so that way we don't have the same thing as ready as I'll ever be, and the part where he comes back. So, let's start day three now. He's at the bar, and he's going to meet up with Vincent Payne now. So, let's start. Winston. <laughs> Losing a case sucks, doesn't it? You mean better than most. And I also know a loser when I see one. Welcome to my world, right? You think you're different, you do nothing but win, but I know you're really a sham. You think you got a special aura within you, but now you've found out you're a scam. You think you're still the sharpest tool in the shed And believe me, I do too But now I'm a loser And so are you Oh hey, look at the time It's half past, shut your face and leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> A Saturday like that oh. For years you still believe that no one could touch you But you then got poked in the eye <laughs> The ace attorney turned to jump and a fool to doubt and to not. He's all washed up and all his luck is run out. He's a has been through and through because he's a loser. And 
There you go. So now let's skip most of the court, which is my favorite part. Uh, it's a shame I won't be able to uh, react to uh, my two favorite songs, both Turnabout and, of course, the best of the best song sung by Miss Von Karma. Of course. Um. Shoot. What's, shoot, what's the name of that song? Ah, for goodness sake, it's my favorite. Um, you Foolish Fools, there you go. I think that it's called Foolish Fools. Um, so yeah, so let's skip that part. Um, the annoying part is that uh, Phoenix comes right after Turnabout, so I might put the end of Turnabout, just to tell you guys right now. So for those of you who haven't already watched the entire musical, which, by the way, if you did that, what on earth? Wait, like what? You're watching someone redoing it, but poorly and without much and without any funding whatsoever. When the musical itself is probably one of my favorite videos ever. But anyway, I digress. Let's just skip most of that. Okay, yeah. So now um. We're gonna start off with Miles just saying we no longer have proof that Larry Butts was even on the roof that night, and then Phoenix is gonna come in with actually we do. So just tell you he's gonna arrive now with Larry Butts. Clever play on words, Capcom. Very funny. Don't miss it. We no longer have proof that Larry Butts was even on the roof of the hospital that night. Actually, we do. Nick. Just in time for the fireworks. I can see that. With your permission, Your Honor, I would like to call Mr. Butts to the stand. I'd like to call him a lot of things. Uh, hey, everybody. You guys are looking great. Talk now. Right. Um, so I might have accidentally faked my own death and framed Maya for murder. Accidentally? I never meant to cause any problems. Oh, you guys are all mad at me now. Keep talking while my sister will be you. All right. Jeez. So, I started volunteering at the hospital a couple weeks ago. That was pretty nice of you. <laughs> yeah, the nurses were also super hot. But none of them appreciated my natural awesomeness. So I thought if I learned a totally amazing skill, I could impress them with it. Tell me you didn't. So... I decided to take up spirit channeling. He did. I made myself the robes and everything. I even crafted my own Magatama. We noticed. It's up. I suppose you decided to try some spirit chat. Wait, sorry. Sorry to break the illusion very quickly, but um, um, I forgot to tell you this. Right now, Phoenix is like, not, um, uh, he's not in either besides, he's not besides, um, Edgeworth, he's not beside the judge, he's not beside Larry or beside Von Karma, he's like right in the middle. So now just to give you an idea, over here on this side for you would be, wait a second, for you, yeah, for you this side would be prosecution, so Von Karma, this side here would be witness, uh, would, uh, would be defense, so you would have, um, so here you find um, Edgeworth, and then so over here would be Larry, and over in front of me would be the um, judge. Up on the hospital roof. 
Bingo! Someone gets it. I'm supposing because that is a profoundly stupid idea. Oh. Forgive me, but how does the blue badger fit into any of this? Oh, don't you see? This ignoramus changed clothes on the roof and put his uniform on the blue badger! Hey, I just sort of draped them over it. You should have been there, Nick. It looked hilarious. I'll bet. But then, right when I was getting in the zone, that old security lady showed up and started screaming at me. I freaked hard. So hard that you ran into and consequently knocked the blue badger off the roof. Yeah. That's why I've been hiding for three days. The badger was a masterpiece. After I smashed the blue badger, I didn't think anybody would forgive me. At least, I wasn't brave enough to come forward and find out. I think our victim just confessed to his own murder. Sounds that way to me. Which means, Miss Maya Faye, I hereby find you not guilty. Lobby. Apartment the entire time. The one place I hadn't been to since the start of the trial. Right, a defense attorney does not sleep in their office. I was kind of at a loss until I bumped into Winston Payne, who gave me some perspective. So I thought to myself, if I was a loser, where would I go? And that's where I found Larry. Nick, how could you say that? You're the least loserous person I know, and if you're a loser, then I am too. It's good to have you back. To the office. I do have one question that was never actually answered. What's that, Nick? What were you doing in the hospital anyway? Chronic sleepwalking. I didn't really do much. Hey, pal. You two ready to celebrate winning the case? I'd be Phoenix down for that. Crit! Lunch is on me. Wait, no. No, guys. <laughs> guys. Guys, it's literally on me. I, I have a cup of noodles right here. I, I don't mind sharing. I'll only take a bite or two. Guys, where are you going? That's where we're about to end the video now. There you go. Um, I know this was very, very bad. I know. I'm sorry, like I said. Um, I'm still trying to figure some stuff out. Um, like with a camera perspective, where to do it. I promise you that with Miles Edgeworth, I'll actually be standing up for that one. And I'll be having a better camera with better camera quality. Hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, I will try. Because, I see, I have to let you guys in on a little secret. I don't really like Phoenix all that much in this musical. I much prefer Edgeworth, Miles. He is way funnier to do, especially with like his very up straight and posh attitude all the time. But of course, the funnest character that I'm really am excited to play will be Von Karma. You foolish fools, forgot the rules, and I will whip you all like mules. This path is quickly going down in flames. I know I'm singing off key. I know. Don't say that to me, please. Don't make me more insecure about that voice that I, are, that I am already am. Sorry, I cannot speak. <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> I hope you liked the video. Um, please subscribe if you like this sort of bad quality. <laughs> Um, yeah, I will try to do better in my next video. I hope you have a good one and see you next week or probably earlier than that because I am so hyped to do Edgeworth. And just last thing before we end this video, um, you might have noticed that right now I'm wearing red. That was just to trigger you people, um, since it's uh, since Phoenix is supposed to be blue and Edgeworth is supposed to be red. So I'm wearing red when I'm going to do Phoenix and when I'll be doing Edgeworth, which is next time um, I will be wearing blue or something that's blue-ish just to annoy you people <laughs> I know I'm mean but anyway thank you very much so, for watching and I'll see you in the next one goodbye